Hello all and welcome to the Battle of Panero, fought in 1815 at the same year as the Battle of Waterloo was raging on. The Neapolitans were equally fighting their own war against the Austrians, invaders as they threatened Neapolitan sovereignty. The famous French general Joachim Murat, now king of Naples, sent his armies against the Austrian tyrant to keep Naples free and its own sovereign state. What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another NTW3 historical battle for you today. And today, in today's historical slice, we have a very unknown sort of battle and that is taking place at the same time as the Waterloo campaign. And we have uh, the Neapolitan War that's taking place. So uh, obviously at this time, uh, Joachim Murat is the king of Naples and he uh, was sort of a supporter of an opponent at this point. He had been um, obviously his marshal and uh, the coalition did not want to keep him on the throne of Naples. So they decided to uh, declare war on Naples and also uh, remove Murat from uh, his throne. This was in fact a Neapolitan victory. Um, they actually forced the Austrians to retreat beyond the river Po um, and Naples was safe for a short time, but I believe uh, the outcome of the war was in fact a coalition victory and uh, the Austrians did in fact kick Naples out, well, Murat out of Naples and uh, yeah, that was kind of the end for Naples uh, as a state. And as you can see here, we already have line infantry set up, ready to go, I can see some skirmishers already trying to take some pot shots at some officers and flag bearers. Um, this was a relatively small battle though for the age, there's only about 7,000 men on the Neapolitan side, about 6,000, uh, 6,500 on the Austrian side, and it, yeah, it, like kills wise, only about 400 on the, either side uh, were lost and wounded, which is still a lot of men, it's still <laughs> sad to think about, but in the grand scale of things, it's a very small low uh, count for a Napoleonic battle. Uh, we actually do have some of the commanders that were here, we have... Um, the uh, Murat and the Guardia Real, of course, with Murat here leading his uh, his corps. Um, we then have three Carascosa uh, corps here, and Carascosa was one of the commanders here, along with Coletta, but I presume there isn't a Coletta corps. Um, so, yeah, we have three Carascosa ones, and they're mainly made up of just general infantry. We've got, looks like, grenadiers here as well, um, but it looks like they're just going to be like the more spammy out uh, armies. We've got a house being taken here. So, I presume the aim is for. Um, the defensive sort of Piacenza here, which is, I presume, supposed to represent Panero. We also have a call way off to the south, way down here. I don't know what their role is, but maybe they're just getting on the on the road and then coming up north. I'm not really sure. Don't know what the aim is, but it looks like, they, or maybe they're going to do a huge flank. I don't know. Um, we have another Carrascoza call all the way over here. They've got a mix of troops that can form a home and cannot. It seems like the ne Neapolitans um, are mainly cannot is their, uh, is their thing. It could be an equal then match for the Austrians then, who equally also can't usually form square. I presume they're using a late tier, um, Austria. And uh, I imagine we have cores here as well. I'm not sure what cores we have. We'll have to see at the end. But yes, if you're enjoying NTW3 and would like to see more Napoleon action and are enjoying all things Napoleonic on the channel, do remember to leave a like, subscribe when you're on here and a comment show you support. And if you want to get involved in some of these scenarios as well, then feel free to join my Discord, the link is down below in the description. You're more than welcome to come and stop by and get involved in some of these NTW3 scenarios. We have got some very cool and niche ones now uh, that we're getting through, and I mean, this is certainly a very niche one, but a very unknown faction that we rarely see. That is, if you hadn't guessed, Naples. We always see Austria. <laughs> Austria is a common feature on the channel, and in Napoleonic battles, they were just about everywhere uh, during the Napoleonic Wars. We've got a huge battery set up here, though. We've got, like, what, six gun batteries, two different units. Uh, they're set up there. They're just going to be able to pound away at the uh, the Neapolitan guns, which equally, they've got their own six gun battery actually up here. So they're trading shots, I imagine. Quite nice. And yeah, they are. I mean, you already see the dead from Naples. They're actually taking quite a few uh, casualties from uh, skirmishers, but it looks like they've actually also won the first fight in his line battle. So he's uh, Laguerre here, which I guess is light infantry, like Laguerre, um, well, light infantry, yeah. And then we've got like the, uh, oh, we've got Grenadiers here as well, Granateri, also being sent up. 
Looks like they're getting ready though. Austria's actually retreating his infantry uh, and allowing a gun to come forward here. So it looks like he's gonna prepare to have another battery set up here. We also have some um, to guard cavalry over here as well. Um, part of Murat's core, so we'll see how they do. But uh, we also got some, um, it's like some, I don't know what these are, Dragoons maybe? Or um, Usari? Or Hussars probably, actually, by the name Usari. Probably Hussars. And then, yeah, I imagine this is a, like, a lance unit here. But here come the Hussars, they're going to come forward. The guns are being set up. Oh, at the last moment they changed their mind and they look like they're going to retreat. And it looks like the response from Austria to bring forward a huge Chevrolet Girl unit. Here come the Hussars. I don't think they're going to quite make it to the guns. I mean, it is guard uh, Hussars at the end of the day. They might route some stuff here. There is. There you go. Infantry routed. That was well done there. And we have actually got the guns being routed as well. So a big win there for uh, Naples as they get rid of them. And it looks like Naples is going to try and get a sudden as Hussars uh, are getting out. And in go... Uh, Different Hussar unit, maybe? I don't know. Did he send in two different ones? Yeah, it looks like he sent in two different Hussar units and they've uh one's one's just got out then. Yeah, it looks like they've done a decent job. They're actually gonna break through, it looks like here quite nicely. Yeah, the uh like the more like I don't know what unit this is, like a lance unit like going in. They've also routed some infantry here, so they're doing a good job. Looks like they're gonna try and get the Hussars out of here. As we have more Hussars coming in from Austria to try and counter that. Lots of Hussars here today. So yeah, the guard cavalry doing a good job there, actually. It looks like maybe they brought the only cavalry as well for Naples. Whether they had other cavalry available, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is a guard cavalry unit out here. This is an Alansi unit. And then we have, yeah, Murad with another cavalry unit there. So yeah, it does seem as though um, Naples really lacking in cavalry, actually, today. But they've got good cav, that's for sure. I'll have to see what the Austrians have. I mean, Austria usually can bring a decent amount of cavalry to the, f uh, to the field. It's one of their strengths. They also usually bring a decent amount of infantry, but it's usually a bit on the trash side. Both sides as well fighting in white today. I wonder whether that will affect um, either side. They'll be like, who's friend and who's foe? Especially when they get bayonet fighting. It'd be very confusing. But the Austrians also have the benefit that they fight with the most multiple army in the world. We have some grey creatures, some ones in white. We've got Probably units in, I don't know, uh, in black uniforms, green uniforms, you name it, they have every color. They're a very multicolored army. Hungarians here setting up, you gotta fire. These guys are the ones in white that, you know, can confuse with the uh, Neapolitans a bit. Yeah, it seems like Naples has been really aggressive over here. We actually have the, uh, the guard are set up here behind Carascoza's core. So it looks like they're gonna make a huge push here by the looks of it. Maybe, I guess, not wanting to push across this bridge. Understandable, to be honest. Whether they can go through the river, that might be a uh, possibility. But, yeah, I don't know how Naples really this in a line fight, but it looks like he's going to be stuck in one for a little while now. Austria has certainly opened up the ground that it's not going to be easy to, um, just to charge forward without at least getting one volley in your face, and it's not going to end well then. Got more grenade, uh, grenadiers back here. It looks like we're about to see another charge here. Maybe the Hussars look like they're going to maybe go and go for dash on those guns. But, uh, change their mind. They've actually also... Did they pull one of those guns across to this side, which is why it got lost? I think so. Because there isn't a six-gun battery here in the center anymore. Yeah. The Austrians are ready. They're guarding their guns pretty well now. They're not allowing this, uh, this other gun battery to get removed. But, uh, to be honest, if you see the guns, you just focus on this cavalry. And just make them pay for just sitting there guarding their own um, their own guns. But yeah, Naples moving forward again. It looks like they're being fearless right now, getting really close. To front lines units are starting to uh, look like they could waver. Yeah, they're not happy with that. They're not happy with that at all. Gave a little bit of ground, Naples. They could, if they wanted to, go really hard here. I think hard on the guns around these buildings. I felt like use the buildings as cover. You can push up when it is here. Use the, uh, and make a bayonet charge if they wanted to. I think that would be a, a viable strategy. Whether it would work, I don't know. Um, update on the flanking army. It is still flanking. And look at it. It is getting way in behind over here. I don't know if this is like historically how it out happened. I don't know. I haven't really read about Panera. I thought it was just a straight up pitch fight. Pitch battle fight. But maybe not. We've got hordes of infantry here flanking around. And we do have a little um, 
a little hussar unit here as well. And this is actually of Karas, um, Karaskos' army. So there is, maybe they did bring some cavalry. That's good to see. Um, but there is Austrian cavs sort of waiting. I guess they're still unaware. Um, and there's also Austrian infantry dotted around. So they might have to face an army sooner rather than later. And the assault on the, the, assault on the bridge is also starting. As you can see here, we've got lots of Laguerre. They're getting ready. Lots of light infantry. Setting up, putting rounds into these uh, Austrian hordes. Fire when they in. Excellent. Excellent. What have we got here? More line infantry. Surprised they don't have units with squares on the flanks, but maybe they just don't have enough squares to uh, supplement all these. Looks like they're now also retreating with your battered units behind uh, more healthy lines here. So allow them to have a bit of uh, a bit of joined. I guess we'll just allow these troops here to rally up a little bit. I imagine they won't sit in the guard for a little while though, and you can tell what the guard look like. They've got bearskin hats on, they've got they've also got like the bright yellow uniform uh, like hats there, more bear skins. They look very, very guard-like. Very similar to the French. They've got Marines here at the Royal Guard. Carabiners, Grenadiers. Yeah, you can tell who the guards are. Absolutely. Sapatori? What is that unit? Oh, it's Sappers. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Look at the Sappers. They've got like lifeless eyes there. Oh my gosh, that's scary. So here we go. There's like another push is coming from Naples, and it is even coming around these buildings here. Uh, it's just a lot of line infantry, though. Not like anything like Grenadier, like which I'd expect to be me making a push there. Well, we also have a gun moving up, by the way. It's a uh, six pounder here. I think it's two guns. They're going to set up here and they're going to start shelling across this river. Probably a good idea, trying to help break the deadlock. Again, this flanking army way in behind. Way, way in. In behind. I don't know if they sent their general here. Um, they might have. I'm not sure. If they have their general over here, then uh, then the Austrians obviously will be very aware of this. Because you can see a general easily. But I'm not sure if they did. It might be a combat gen. It's potential. Oh, here we go. We've got troops being routed by the looks of it. Yeah, it was, uh, we've got those uh, Hussars in there. They got routed. And the other Hussar unit is here. Looks like the gun crew did get away in time. This time an artery coming flying in, hitting both sides here, routing them. And looks like now we're gonna have the Chevalier Girls do a counter charge. They're gonna go into squares here. They need to get out of there. They will get a face full of musket balls. No one wants that. And there you go. It looks like so decent news there. Actually, also that is a uh, Carrasco unit there. It's not a guard unit, that so. Um But yeah, if they left their general over here, that that court, then. They pulled off a very good sneaky move, but I don't know. Maybe it's all just part of the scenario, and then the Austrians have to accept that they're going to get outflanked. I don't know. We'll see. We've got Francois, Francois and Michel here. He's on the line. The boys are getting hit hard though in the front lines here for Naples. They're doing God's work, though. And it looks like a bayonet charge there. Failed, and we are going to see a counter charge here from the Austrians. We're going to get a faithful musket balls for their own good there. There you go. Yeah, it didn't really go to plan. This unit here. Is this cavalry going again? Yeah, we've got guard cavalry going in. Looks like they might have got the artillery crew this time. Yeah, it looks like they did get it. Which I think was their aim. And now we're just seeing infantry uh, fall in and replace those units there. So the guards as well moving over here. Carabineers, the guards, Marines, the guards. Grenadiers guards, so yeah, they're going in, and it uh, looks like this could go either way. That was very close, actually. Naples nearly lost that fight, but there are plenty of guards in behind still waiting to take over. This unit here, though, is going to break soon. The square unit, one volley here from the Austrians, and I'll send that packing. Well, maybe not, it's going to take a bit more than that, apparently. There are some holes starting to appear in the Austrian lines, and it does seem like Naples is kind of not running dry, but it, it looks like the uh, guard units are starting to have to take a bit more responsibility. We've still got some infantry units here coming forward, which is good to see. There's still got a few reserves. Um, the flanking force, it looks like it has run into contact as well with uh, some Austrian cavalry. 
But uh, that is all. And there was a car carry charge over there. I know I did miss it. I do apologize. Looks like we got Hussars here that have routed some Austrian unit here. Maybe a, a Jaeger sort of unit. I'm not sure. And there's actually now Austrian cap coming in to try and uh, get these Hussars. And it looks like they might have got them as well. So success there. If they counter charge, this unit here cannot form square. There's a lot of actually, a lot of Neapolitan units over here that cannot form square. That is not looking good there. And here we go, more charging going in. And we have the Marines of the Guards. They're going to charge on in here. Chevalier Gers going in as well. Maybe no, they're going to get out of there. The Marines, they get in with basically no. They must get fired. But it looks like they might be routed here because the cavalry's getting involved. It's a tiny little unit, really. Yeah, I have Cadavaneers here falling square. It's a risk. Because the infantry is so close, so one volley is this congested mass now could really do a lot of serious damage. And here we go, we've got the, uh, the guard cavalry coming in. They're causing a havoc amongst the infantry here. Yeah, they're like a lance unit, but they have sabers. There we go, we have a general being killed, an enemy general killed. Um, I guess he's in one of these infantry units down here. I'm not sure. But he's been routed. Looks like that guard cavalry might have done his job, but it is also dead. It's going to run for its life. Cavalry in short supply now for the uh, Neapolitans. They look like they're shifting over a... Uh, look like a, 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 a cuirassier. That's what I was trying to say. Or how they would call it. A corazier. Corazieri, I guess. Corazieri? Something like that. I'm probably butchering the name. My Italian is no good. But we all know it's a cuirassier. And here we go. In go more guards. And it is going to be the count of an ears of the guards trying to break through here. Got the Zapatori over here. Are they? They're exhausted. They've just been running to the front lines or something. I don't know what they've been doing. They're actually pretty banged up down to 27 out of 50. I don't know why they're like so upset. They are. I guess they must have charged forward at some point. Infantry really pushing forward here, going across the river, and again another clash in the forest over here. Again, cavalry coming in for the Austrians, charging into Neapolitan squares, and looks like these Hussars are going to be repulsed. Here comes forward the line infantry. They're going to start dueling in the forest with the, uh, with the Neapolitans. And that probably works better for Naples because they actually hold the tree line. Yeah, looking a little battered over here is Austria. They're, they're holding on really with their massive cavalry that they have behind their lines, I feel like, at the moment. If, all, and with, if Naples comes forward with an infantry unit, they just swamp it with cavalry. And that's how they're doing, uh, how they're holding right now. This gun over here as well is uh, very, very important to holding the line right now. What's going here? More infantry coming forward. But it certainly could go either way right now. It still could. Naples desperately probably needs reinforcements. Probably needs his extra army to appear. So yes, it seems like Naples is going to be making a push now across uh, the river over here. And yeah, this flanking army is now very much on the move. Excited to see what they get done. They have got a little bit of a, uh, like, a Hussai unit here. And they've also got a, a six-pounder as well ready to go. So they've got some heavy-hitting artillery and a little bit of cavalry. But they're going to need more than just that one little unit because there is plenty of cavalry here waiting for them. The Austrians are very much aware of their presence now in the back lines. As the Austrian lines here battle on. There's a long, long line. Look at this. It just goes on and on and on. The NCW3 mod really does certainly make the scale of like Napoleonic battles just a little bit better. Like you have units that are like in the like 150s, 200 man units, and it just does make like the scale of battles just much much better. There's some line infantry here, set up, ready to go. They'll be better at reloading and better at accuracy, so they will certainly be better in a uh, infantry duel. But they don't want to get too close. That is for sure. They want to keep that uh, that range if possible. Look at the amount of cab over here, actually. It just keeps appearing. And there is Austrian lines now here as well. How much, I don't know. There's two lines here. Might be a few more appearing. 
Artillery as well here. So yeah, it looks like the Austrians are now shifting troops over here. Oh my gosh, look at the amount of cavs. So much. This is going to be a real problem for Naples. I don't know how many of these troops can form a square. A few of them. Not enough, I feel like, is going to be the answer. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of non squareables back here that they're going to need to uh, protect. And you can see Austrian lines starting to not crumble, but quiver. And it looks like we're about to see that Curacia unit come forward here. It looks like it might be going for a charge straight down the middle at infantry here. Uh, there are skirmishes waiting. And it's got to go in now. It's a do or die moment here. They're going in against the skirms. How smart an idea that was, I don't know. But we're going to clash in with the uh, cavalry behind them. They've routed the skirms. Very good there. Might route the other one. And um, they need to they routed infantry as, as well here. That might affect the morale of other Austrian units around them. They need infantry to come up though and support. They need these guard units in here. Where are they? Get the guards in here. Get generally, in, generally get infantry into melee against the Austrians. The Austrians usually suck in combat. Uh, with their infantry and it looks like they're actually shredding these units around them now you can see infantry routing there Jurassic is looking really good they're winning decisively in this fight routing all of those those cavalry units there that is really nice to see and in we go with some infantry with some basic line infantry going in whether they might take out those Austrians a big push here in the center as we also have uh, looks like a guard unit coming up as well I don't know what unit that is maybe a light infantry or something for a moment, or maybe it did. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the. Oh, yeah, it's still the Curacia as well. Deal with the Guardian at all. But here we go. Counter charge now from the Austrians. They're going to go in with their cavalry. And these guys can't form square, so these could be easy pickings here for the Austrians if they are decisive enough to go in. They are not. And actually, we're going to see the, uh, the Neapolitans continue to charge. Or at least look like they were going to against the cavalry, but changed their minds. That was probably for the best. So I don't really know if that cavalry would have. Uh, I had to worry about that. I feel like the cavalry would have mopped those infantry units quite nicely. Hussars over here look like they were going to go for a charge, but we do have a cavalry charge in the back lines here from the Austrians. They're going after a general. Naples' general here has routed. That is, uh, oh, is it a general? Is it a Hussar? No, it's a Hussar. Where is their gen? I'm not sure, but the guns are also gone. Oh, yeah, their, their gen is probably a combat gen. So, yeah, and you can see here infantry also being routed. And. Well, it looks like they're going to get routed. No, the cavalry did route first. That was lucky there. I mean, they lost their artillery, though, and their cavalry. So they're now just down to infantry. This makes the mobility of the army much poorer. Um, but it wasn't like that tiny little cavalry. I don't think it was really going to do too much. The artillery certainly could be very useful for punching through uh, these Austrian columns. Because the Austrians have their own cannons here set up. They're going to start punching into those Neapolitan lines there, doing some damage to that morale there. But bit, obviously there's, well, I say part collapse of the center. It partly collapsed, but it seems like they've just about held on. They've got a single unit, some musketeers, and then cavalry, and that's it, just backing up the center. One dedicated push here will probably break through. Here, another charge going in. What do we have here? We have uh, lances of the guard going in, going in after artillery. I don't know if they're going to be successful. Their morale is pretty low. But they, everything routed, wow, okay, fair enough. Oh, it's because they were pulling out of this combat. I don't know if they should have done that, really. It's a bit naughty. It's only pulled out one combat against the SARS here uh, to try and go after those guns. A little, a little bit cheeky there, I feel like, from the uh, from the Neapolitan player. Big push over here going on from Naples as well, using the uh, cover of the forest to try and flank around here. We have some skirmishes that are trying to uh, hold on the baby. Yes, trying to, uh, I guess, get close to these guns. And certainly this is a good little move going on here from Naples. And you can see Austria looks like he's going to turn an infantry unit to try and deal with that. But that's obviously just going to ex obscure his... Uh, oh, sorry, not obscure. Uh, expose his flank to the uh, Neapolitans. And he needs to be careful he doesn't get too close to the artillery. But now he is just about safe. And they put a big hole inside you. They might route that infantry, you know. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that was just guns alone routed that unit. Really well done. And to be fair, if, you know, still needs to form square, which is good, but this could quite quickly be undone because there's still formation here. And yeah, you can see they are swiftly retreating. Uh, squares will have to be formed. This cavalry is also pushing up. But here we go, another charge straight down the middle. And again, the Curacia is leading the way. We've got Austrian infantry and cavalry in here. The infantry is starting to waver and break. The Curacia is also at their own breaking point. And here we go, in goes the infantry. Lots of lights going in. Looks 
they might just about, about break the infantry. There you go, the uh, Kyrassis have been broken and now going the Chevaliers against the hordes of Neapolitans here. My gosh, this battle has been glorious. And yeah, looks like the Austrians have going to retreat. They've see, seen off the uh, Kyrassis and now they're just going to leave it to the infantry to do what the infantry does best. Battle with bayonets. Well, I say they do their best. Austrians, not so much. Uh, but yeah, it's still not looking good over here. Cavalry is, like I said, really holding this sense line at the moment. As the, uh, it, you can see, the uh, guard are pushing forward here again. And they're taking this ground. There's not much they can do. And uh, on this right flank over here, again, also Naples is slowly pushing forward. Austria is being forced to retreat. Lots of cavalry over here holding back the, uh, the Neapolitan infantry push. I feel like these guys have got to centralize a little bit more. Maybe retreat on the other army. Naples is making moves forward. A lot of the half his army, though, is actually defending the guns, which I think rallied. So that's lucky. Yeah, the guns have rallied, and the half his army is now just defending the rear and just making sure he doesn't get shot. Oh, like charge the back again. I'm going to guess this is combat gen here. Yulamo Pepe. I'm assuming that is his, his general, his combat gen. Another charge coming in, more cavalry. Going in again, it's that uh, Lancer cap of the guard. They charged in, got routed though, and again, took out an R3 piece. Now Hussar's gonna chase them off. That bit, that flanking force over there from the uh, Neapolitans as well has also been routed by Austrian cab and infantry. So, and that is no longer a threat. And now again, Austria can threaten the right flank here of this, um, this Neapolitan army that has got in behind the Austrian lines. At this point, Austria is in a real bad space. You I mean you look at it? They've got and um, the red is the Neapolitans, the blue is the Austrians. Um, they are between a rock and a tight space. They've not got many places they can go. Uh, maybe they could retreat north up here, like northwest to Rotofreno, and uh, try and break through. But it's going to be tough, difficult. They don't really have the the infantry to make a breakthrough. I feel like, or at least enough to hold in other areas while they make a breakthrough. Like that. I'm kind of rude for Na even though they're winning, uh, and I usually root for the underdog. Underdog. I've been. I'm rooting for Naples, really, because we never see Naples. Got the guard here setting up. And they're like ice cream yellow color. That's how I think of it. Because I mean, Neapolitan. They they do like you know ice creams as well but this just reminds me like this color of like vanilla ice cream it really does weird a weird thought that went through my head need to move these guys forward as well to be honest he's uh we've got a grenadier this unit there the building has fallen to the enemy you say the austrians yep they put a unit in there don't know what it is it's not a grenadier unit by the looks of it so if they get a guard unit up there or a grenadier, they should be able to take it, I'd imagine. Lots of Austrian units, though, are starting to uh, look pretty rough on the morale, whether that's because of units breaking. There is also a Austrian general dead somewhere, so um, I can't remember which army it was. I thought it was one more in the center. So morale, again, they're not going to be looking great, but yeah, they've got breaking units running through their lines. It's just not helping. Looks like Austria might be giving a bit of ground here. You can sort of see where his dead is. At least like they look like Austrian. They no, they are definitely Neapolitan dead. Actually, they, the uh, Neapolitans, I think, have given ground. In fact, here another cavalry charge going in. This time from Austria. I mean, they have, are the only ones really left with cavalry. Passar has to charge head on into like three units of light infantry. And uh, yeah, they got peppered down. Some of those are like guardsmen units. I don't think they were going to break through those at all. That was a bit of a futile charge. We have got a big Chevalier Gur though coming up here. He might be about to do the exact same thing. The guards are just charging on through. These are also some Laguerre. They're going into skirmishes. And here we go, Chevalier Gurs going in. I think the guards should form square. Yeah, the Carabineers did anyway. You can see them there. They're repulsing those Chevalier Gurs quite nicely. Well done there to Murat's Corps. A volley into the back of those guys might have broken them then. But they've rallied. And more Chevalier Gers going in over here as well now. 
And now we're going to see an Austrian infantry charge going in as well. Trying to rout these Neapolitans. Definitely Naples, though. If they can, like, if Austria can cause the chain route, um, it's, it's very possible. These infantry, uh, the Karoska, Karoskosa, sorry, um, like, cause, I don't feel like they're that great. The infantry is not amazing. They could definitely cause a chain route. The guards are the real, real backbone of the army. You can see there, like, these guys are on red morale. I mean, they're in square fighting infantry. It's never a good idea. It looks like we're going to see a cavalry charge maybe through the uh, through the town here. Is this the town of Panero, maybe? No, it's not, I don't think. I think um, Piacenza is supposed to be the town, I think. You can see a charge in a moment here from uh, Joseph Marie Todo. Yes, here he goes. Here he goes. Phoenix Quern. They do a nice little charge in there. Very nicely done. They are routing a lot of Neapolitan troops over there. Look at this. This is a serious route that just took place. This unit also uh, not looking great on morale. Yeah, it got repulsed pretty quickly there. Building is being stormed. I don't know by who. Looks like a Laguerre unit going in. And in goes the cavalry. They're trying to route units on the Sars again going in. This unit, I guess, can form square. They are picking off units right now. They cannot form square. Well, they need to be careful with their, their pathfinding there. They don't want to pull through. Next up is the guards, though. That's going to be a tough one to take on. The line fight's still raging over here. I mean, Austria's outgunned, really. Look at this. Austria's, like, going to get sandwiched in a moment. It's just the beginning of the end. I mean, it already is. This this flank over here, though, for Austria, looking okay. They're kind of making a bit of a, uh, a last... Well, not last stand, but making a bit of a, a recovery. They've got to go to the Grenadiers here. They've got a good charge on them. Cavalry here, though, on Red Morale. Uh, they did take a face full of muskets there. But look at that. Infantry along the line there, Red Morale. If they break a few of these, that could, be, again, cause another mass route here. More cavalry coming in, swarming over these guys again. They can't form square here. In the forest, the cavalry doesn't really operate that well, but it will against a squareless infantry like that. Look at that. Lots of units breaking, and still more. Infantry unit, I think that was a little cavalry unit there. Yeah, the Hussars coming out, rear charging. Light infantry, the Grenadiers are broken. At 103 men, they broke. They only lost like 20 guys. And look at that, they've wrapped up that Neapolitan left flank. And now, uh, now Austria can try and break the guard that are now becoming the new left flank here. Um, while be hopefully you can do it before the Austrians get killed off here, but I'm not so sure. Austria looks like they might be going in to get themselves killed right now. Maybe they saw their allies and thought, you know what, we'll have a bit of that. We'll just do as well. We'll see. The general has been killed, though. Allied general dead. That's the, uh, I think that's the Neapolitan army over here, the Karas, uh, Karas but maybe it was Louis. Is in the general unit? I'm not sure. I think it's another combat gen. But yeah, they've, they've, uh, done a very nice job over there. There's only one Grenadier square still holding. And in go the line infantry trying to break that. Whether they do, I don't know. I'd be interested to see they're still fighting for this building over here. It looks like uh, the Grenadiers or the Carabineers or the Guards won that fight outside. And now we're seeing more and more infantry going in for Austria. This must get pretty confusing for both sides because there's plenty of white uniforms down there now. And there are the vanilla boys, the vanilla ice cream boys. They're going in as well. I think these are Voltigares of the guard. Yeah, look at that. Austria's got been sandwiched here between two lines. And we're seeing a little cavalry going in here. I say little. It's still relatively good. But Hussar going in. What are they going to go for? General here. They could get Carrasco, Carrascoza himself. He has been left undefended. This is probably going to be the easiest general kill that this Austrian player's had all day. There you go. He's not dead yet. There you go. Dead. They needed that a little bit earlier on. That's for sure. They uh, That cavalry unit has now routed. But yeah, this Karaskoza core now is... Uh, I mean, it's a bit late. 
but is now generalist and uh, yeah, probably will be is in a bad shape. Again, another Chevrolet Gur coming in here. They're going after the guns. So this is the uh, the guard. No, they're not guard guns. And in fact, they're just basic guns. The Zapatori there, I think, trying to form square hilariously. And now they're going to go into the backs of all these infantry here. All the guard. And this could cause a lot of issues here. We're here charging with cavalry. Could route all these vaults that are not in a square. They're just in melee. The Grenadiers here as well. Could route a lot of guards in here. And is Austria making a late, last-minute comeback here? Surely not. The Grenadiers are holding. They needed to carry on that charge. Because they've routed the Austrians. Generally look like they might be making a, a last minute. I don't know. They've got just a little too uh, Just a little too little, if you get what I mean. There's just not enough of them here. Cavalry again coming forward. The infantry here holding the line for now, but got to try and hold the around this house. Use the cab almost as infantry. The general here is, uh, I think, trying to rally these, uh, these this cab unit. The guns have been abandoned here as well. Sadly, these guys can't form square, so... I'm sure he's aware of that. The infantry here still battling on around the building. There you go. That's the Grenadiers of the Guard gone. And I think they're still fighting in this building. Who's in there? Grenadiers of the Guard just against an Austrian unit of some sort. They're losing slightly, apparently, the Grenadiers of the Guard. But morale would say otherwise. And we've still got some more Grenadiers here of uh, Carrascoza's Corps. And the Austrians did, in fact, hold on. Wow. I am surprised. In goes a, uh, an infantry unit there charging a square. Austria making very good, uh, taking very good advantage of, like, when they form square, just charge with uh, infantry. Look at this. The guns are limbering up. They're going to, I guess, try and get a last-minute, um, like, shot off. I don't know if they will. I imagine if they do. It will be incredible. But yeah, there you go. The guns are going to be a little too late. And they're going to get swarmed by Neapolitans. But they might get saved in. This Neapolitan unit, again, kind of getting outflanked by more infantry. And the cavalry's also coming in. And these guys can't form square. Well, some of them can, but not many of them. Naples, you know, can he? I think they're still going to win. But Naples are throwing away a lot of troops. They're making this harder than it really should be. The guards again routing there. Carabineers of the guard being routed. Got a Austrian unit over here that's just doing nothing. That needs to get into the fight. And the cav, I, I think, is just trying to hold the line here. More grenadiers coming up. Yeah, they need to get these. Uh, every Austrian unit needs to be doing something right now. It needs to be being proactive. Let's say there's, also, there's Austrians down here fighting grenadiers. I don't know if the Austrians can even really bring any grenadiers talking about them today. I think it seems like they could. They're often the, some of their best infantry. Maybe that was part of, like, the rules are, or, like, the cause that they, they had had no Grenadiers. Cavalry, though, late game here, doing a good job. And there you go. Looks like they, uh, some of them are forming strong. So uh, again, a fair few breaking. The artillery, as well, also firing. I think it's firing into these uh, Laguerre over here. Trying to route them. Nearly did the job as well. Cavalry has got uh, out of there alive, and the infantry carries on into another bayonet charge, but it must be getting pretty tired at this point. It looks like they come out of um, square formation. Whether the cavalry will now go for a charge. A building has been captured. I think that is, yeah, the building over here has been captured by the Neapolitans, who have now looks like finally mopped up any resistance around the town that the Austrians had there. There you go. Yeah, artillery are just trying to hit these... Uh, these poor, poor Neapolitans. Oh my gosh, look at that right at the end of the game. Let's see dozens. They're still flying off. What the heck? Um, what madness is that? But yeah, seeing these Neapolitans fly right at the end of the game. And I think finally the guns might be neutralized. Finally. They've had multiple attempts to do it as the Neapolitans. That's a Neapolitan gun there that I think is just... He's shooting his own men. What is this? Communist Russia? It's not Order 227. Or shoot your own retreating men. And I think the only unit that's left, actually, is a Austrian general. I think that is all that's left. Um, I guess we're going to see him charge in or try and rally stuff. I don't know. He's going to get stuck in, a, in his cavalry unit here. And he'll make fine pickings for the uh, Neapolitan infantry. But there you go. 
Um, the Battle of Panero is going to go as it did in history. We are going to see the Neapolitans win. But it certainly was a bloodier affair than it was in history. Definitely more than 400 men have died on either side today here. Probably more like 4,000 on either side. Um, yeah, there's a bloody fight at the end for Panero. That, 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 that's what the town was supposed to represent. Look at that brutal volley there. Just gunning down that uh, general. But my gosh, what a fight. That flanking force in the end. Um, drawing away a, a lot of Austrians that were, otherwise would have held that front line very nicely out. Um, and I guess we're going to get the end screen in a moment. I don't know. Uh, maybe we are, maybe we aren't. And there we are. Yes, we had a victory. I don't know why it was a little bit delayed, um, but there you go. Um, it, we, here we are. We have the uh, the end screen. Hopefully, I have put up um, like the end results for you to have a look at. It, they were very glorious. Sent in by Johnny Love Buffoon. So well done to everyone that took part. Um, I think Johnny was playing as the guards for the Neapolitans. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know everyone else that was in it. I know Richard was in it. Iman were in it. Uh, Seat Commando were in it as well. Um, and I'm sure there's a few others of the regulars from the uh, the Peeps Discord who often make me most of these uh, scenarios. But yeah, thank you very much, uh, Johnny, for sending this one in and for everyone else that took part in it. It seemed like a really fun one. It is nice to see Naples as well, a, a faction that's very unplayed featuring um, in the in the battle as well. So yeah, the Voltigares of the Guard getting the most kills, 194, nearly 200 kills. Carabineers of the Guard, 164 kills, 138 for the Cuirassiers. It's pretty good for Cuirassiers, actually. Um, often see them do pretty poorly. Um, grenadiers here getting 122 kills. Then we've got yeah, like more grenadiers getting 115, 109. With a carabineer of the guard, more cavalry getting 93. Did really well with most of his uh, infantry uh, and cavalry today. I mean, you'd expect no less ha controlling the guard army. But there you go, guys. That is the Battle of Panero. Thank you for watching. Do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're on your end here and you want to see more historical battles. Then make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any NTW3 battles or historical battles. And I'll see you guys in the next one.